first time my memory card was full in the middle of it. The second time the audio didn't record, like it just kept recording over itself in a loop, so it didn't actually record the whole thing. And I've already had like an absolute day from hell. I was so incredibly busy at work. I am literally in my PJs. It is 10 p.m. Now he 
his father was not able to come home on that Friday. So Branson's grandmother decided to go to the house to let him know. And when she got to the house, she was really confused by the scene that she saw. All the doors were open and the radio was on, but Branson was not there. However, his van was there and Branson didn't walk anywhere. He would always drive himself or he would get a friend to pick him up. So his grandmother assumed that he was hanging out with friends and she and the friend had picked him up and she would come back and check on him the next day. But when she came back the next day, the house still looked exactly the same. So she called some of his friends, but they hadn't seen or heard from Branson. On Sunday, his father came home and uh, together with the grandmother and Branson was still not there. They hadn't heard from him yet. So they decided to contact his mother and all of them together, all of them decided to get together and file a missing persons report for Branson. Now police immediately came to the house. They find that they found this a very strange situation because in such a small town, people don't just disappear. And they found that his van, his wallet, and all of his personal belongings were still at the house. Now they talked to the female friend and they also talked to the two men. Now the two men claim that they never even saw Branson go to the shed. But if he left through the front door and the female friend is convinced she heard the front door open, then the two men, given where the car was, would have heard the front door open and would have seen him walk over to the shed. So either they are lying or he didn't actually go to the shed, but then where did he go? They also searched, like police also searched the shed and they didn't find the jumper cables anywhere. Um, the female friend pieced together the uh, course of the day and she said that a few really strange things happened. She said that at a certain point she saw Branson grab something out of the kitchen cabinets and then run out the back door. And when he came back in and she asked him what he was doing, he claimed that he didn't do anything at all, that he literally did not leave the kitchen and that what she said he did, he didn't do. And then a bit later on, she took a shower at his house, which I also find really strange. Like, I hate showering at anyone else's house. If I visit a friend and stay over for the night, I don't shower until I get home. So I find it really strange that if you only spend a few hours at a friend's house, you would shower there. But maybe other people do that too. I don't know. Um, she said that when she got out of the bathroom, one of the two men was also searching the kitchen cabinets. And when she asked him what he was doing, he also said, oh, nothing, and then left. Um, so... tests in this case, but all police released about that is that some people failed and some people passed, but they never released names of any person involved in this case. Also, two weeks after his disappearance, the jumper cables were found in the shed, literally right outside the door, like you open the door to the shed and there they were. There is no way that police missed them. Like, if police were searching that shed, they would have been thorough and they were right there. Um, so that was super weird. And then, um, oh, but police refused to fingerprint them. So they said that the material wouldn't allow for it. And also that probably too many people had touched them. Uh, police did search farms, ponds, wells, like literally everything around, but they came up with nothing. So where did Branson go? Like the family friend was already on high alert after the strange things that happened that day. If he had gone out to the shed and someone grabbed him, she would have heard it. Also, if he had been grabbed on his way to the shed, the two men would have seen it and presumably stopped it. And like I mentioned, he was really into weightlifting. He had a black belt. He would not have been an easy guy to, to abduct. Now, police received many leads at the beginning, which is kind of surprising for being such a small town, but they all led to nothing, and eventually the case just died out. In 2003, 
they had their first person of interest, and it was a man called Jack Wayne Rogers. Now, Jack had gone into an online chat room and bragged about how he had killed a blonde guy from Skidmore, and how police would never find his body, um, given how he destroyed it. So police obviously jumped on this and searched his property, his um, belongings, they investigated him, but they never found anything in connection to Branson. The only thing that they found that was a little suspicious was a necklace with an arrowhead. It was well known that Branson loved these kind of necklaces. He owned quite a few necklaces with an arrowhead, but no one in his family could confirm that that one belonged to Branson. They questioned it, this guy about what he had said in the chat room, but he said that he had seen a few missing persons um, flyers from Branson and that he was just acting out of fantasy, but that he never actually killed him. Now, this guy did end up going to jail for 30 years uh, because of uh, child pornography, and he did do some horrific things, but they could never tie him to Branson. Um, so, the community does a search annually, but they are struggling to keep Branson's story in the spotlight because, um, in the meantime, both of Branson's parents have died. His stepfather is still alive and he's trying to keep, um, the case, you know, somewhat in the media. I don't know anything about his brother. I'm guessing he's doing the same thing, but it's a really small town. It's a very unknown case and they're having a really hard time. Like, there's just not a lot of people left that are rallying for him. So, I'll get to the two most popular theories. The first one is that he ran away to start a new life. I highly doubt this, but I'll give you the reasons for and the reasons against this. So, on the one hand, there was his parents' divorce. Um, now, it was a very amicable divorce. They you know, uh, they were very friendly with each other. The kids didn't have a set time that they could visit each parent. They were welcome to go to either parent's house anytime they wanted. That doesn't mean that it didn't affect Branson. It really could have. And that could have been a reason for him to disappear. Also, on the one hand, there were three people at his house. Like, why invite them on the day that you want to disappear? But on the other hand, it would be a perfect alibi because if you invite three people there and you act like everything's normal and they're all there as supposed witnesses, if you then disappear, police are automatically going to assume that foul play is involved because someone would have seen him go away. So he could have meticulously planned this and uh, used the three people as a sort of alibi as to why he couldn't have just ran away, but he actually did run away. However, I find it really hard to believe that he would have run away just because his parents got divorced. I'm not downplaying that. I'm not saying that that's not, that that can't be a traumatic experience. Although he was 20 years old. Uh, in some cases, that's worse because you've always known them to be together, but I think you're also mentally more prepared to deal with it. He had no history of mental illness. Um, nobody sensed really that he was struggling with this divorce. So even if he had a really hard time and he ran away because of this, I would imagine that after a few months, he would have calmed down and come back not to abandon his family. I mean, he would have abandoned his entire family. Not to mention that he left his van, all his personal belongings behind. He had no money. He was 20 years old. Like he would have disappeared and been fine on his own for the past 18 years. Like, I find it really hard to believe that he would have stayed gone for that long and just left his family. So I don't personally believe this. And then another theory that is widely believed is that someone who was at the house was involved. Now, given that he would, that he could fight really well, the most likely scenario is that he went with someone he knew someone that he didn't think would hurt him. Um, and the two men had to have seen him, but they say that they didn't. The only way that they wouldn't have seen him is if he had went, if is, he, is if he had gone out the back door. So then the girl would have been lying. 
Maybe they wouldn't have seen me if we went out the front door, but not to the shed. I'm not entirely sure if they would have always seen him. But then Branson would have gone somewhere other than the shed, or they did see him and they lied about it. Also, the fact that the jumper cables were brought back would indicate to me that it was someone who knew that he was planning to bring them to the shed. Like, in my opinion, someone panicked when police searched the shed and didn't find the jumper cables because that would indicate that he never made it to the shed. So they decided to put them back to prove that Branson had gone to the shed and then disappeared. Um, so I think it had to have been someone who knew that that was Branson's intention. So, I don't know. To me, it sounds more like it was someone that he knew. I don't know if the two men are that sketchy. I'm sure police cleared them. But I find everyone's story really weird. Like, the girl claims that he went out the front door, but the two men claim that they didn't see him. So, either he skipped out so quietly that nobody noticed, or one of the two is lying. I don't know anything about the girl. It could be that she brought someone in or that they were all three in on it together to do something to him, but then what's the motive? It was a really small town. Nobody seemed to see or know that he was involved in anything strange. He wasn't arguing with anyone. And also, if he ran away on his own, someone would have seen him in that town, but nobody saw him that day. So, it is so strange. There is no motive to do something to him. But I also don't really see a reason for why he would run away. So basically, he vanished into thin air and there is very little information to go on. So let me know what you guys think. I'd be so interested to hear your theories in this case. Um, 